I introduced the bus to my kids in preschool. Once they started going to schools that were outside of walking distance, uh, it just became a really easy option. I have a son, Nixon, who is 12, and then I have an older daughter who is 15. Claire is really active um, in the community theater, Theatricos. The city bus enabled her to be really independent and to travel to and from uh, summer camp. She uh, loves the independence, uh, not only going to theater um, rehearsals, but she is at the age where she wants to go downtown and hang out with her friends or go to the movie theater, and she doesn't want to rely on me to do that. She does have the opportunity to ride the FUSD bus and chooses to ride the city bus, um, I think because of the flexibility. And she decided she'd rather have that extra half an hour or 40 minutes of sleep. Um, I don't know what 14 year old wouldn't. I felt really comfortable, especially with my son, who is younger, starting to ride the bus on a daily basis. At first I rode with him. Pretty soon he wouldn't sit by me on the bus and he would sit with his friends. And, um, and then pretty soon, uh, we would go at different times. My son does go to basis. I'm proud to say that I have never, in the two years my son has been at basis, I have never gone to parent pickup. Not once. The best advice I could give is try it. Get on the bus with your child. It's really relaxing. And I got that, just that one-on-one -on -one time just with them, which was really great, that I didn't get in the car for some reason. I think it's the right choice, um, not only financially, but for the environment and for your child's independence. We all want to lift our children up and teach them how to be independent human beings, and this is a really great first start.